Welcome back to San Antonio Living. Diana Barrios Trevino is joining us this morning from La Hacienda and Los Barrios Mexican Restaurants. Happy New Year to Happy you. Happy New Year, my friend. Oh, my goodness. I got so excited. I got a little email alert on my phone. It said, <laughs> Diana's making tostadas tomorrow. And I said, oh. And then it was funny because Monica, our producer, and I got into this conversation about the difference between a tostada and a chalupa. Right. Oh. And there, there's a lot of, lot of people that say, call them, you know, they, there's so many names. what you want. It's this, a tortilla with okay. stuff on it. When, when <laughs> my mom had her very first little restaurant, um, we used to do this. In fact, when we started Los Barrios, we also used to have this tostada on the menu. But uh -huh. over the years, you know, people, have, their tastes have changed and, and, and they would always want to substitute. But it really is one of my favorites. And all it is is your favorite queso. I love it. On a tostada chip. The queso at Los Barrios in La Hacienda is my favorite in all of this town. It's very simple. It's just so good. I don't it's know why. It's so yummy. So the first thing I thought right. I'd start with is to show how we make these. Yes, you okay. can buy your store-bought tostadas, and there are lots of varieties. Or you can just get a little bit of oil in your skillet, get it nice and hot. Okay. And it's going to be about 45 seconds per side, more okay. or less, you know, depending on the temperature, depending on your stove, and it'll just take a little while. All right. While it get, you know, you want it to be nice and crunchy. And if you break into it and it feels like, you know, it's just not quite crunchy, you need to have left it a little bit longer. It has to be able to hold all this stuff. Right. Right? Exactly. And so what I have here is a variety, a mm. big variety. And, of course, you don't have to do this at home, but you can you can uh, certainly okay. use whatever you have in your refrigerator. Yum. So if you have the cheese, you know, the, the sliced cheese that you use for sandwiches, mm -hmm. peel it open. Take off plop the plastic, it on there. plop it on, pop it into the oven, and let it melt. But the key and is start with the cheese, right? To start with the cheese. Okay. And you can use any variety of cheese, your favorite cheese that melts, as long as it melts. So I have, uh, you know, we have our, our your favorite cheese that yes. I bring from Los Barrios, which mm -hmm. you, or and La Hacienda, we use the same cheese. And then I did a combination of Chihuahua cheese with that yellow okay. cheese that we use. And then I have just the Chihuahua cheese. And so, and then we have the melted cheese, the chili yeah. con queso that you like. And you know what? You do whatever you want. Okay. You can make it a breakfast tostada, which oh is gosh. what, what I have over here. breakfast over there. So I love that. We started with the queso chihuahua, okay. and then we, we did uh, scrambled eggs, and then we did a green tomatillo salsa with avocado and some cilantro. And, it, of course, it's got spiciness to it. Oh, my goodness. And so basically, to me, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of deconstructed chilaquiles because oh, yeah. it's basically layer on top of layer, and you get the crunch, mm -hmm. and it's so yummy. Okay, so you're, you're going to do here? the picadillo, mm -hmm. um, and you on top of your, your, your chile con queso. Mm, then I'm going to come over here. Watch out. Here it comes. Oh, I'm oh, no. here. We're waiting. <laughs> I, I like some red onions. So pretty. And then I'm going to go with a little salsa. Cilantro. Excellent, excellent. I'm going to have some jalapenos today. That's, that's my favorite. I just love it really? like that. Really? Yes. See, I didn't even know. In fact, I have one. Well, it doesn't have the um, picadillo. I think I did the the just chopped up. You know, if you have steaks and you have some left over, chop up whatever's left over mm -hmm. finely and then do this on top. You know, you'd be able to use whatever you have. Pulled pork works great with pulled pork because all of these meats actually taste better and better as the days go by. I'll put She's it in the oven. She's going into the oven. Well, you have to put it on something. Here. No, no. Put, it, just on put it right on You're in. just going to put it right in. Okay. Yes, there we go. You sit right there. It's going to be fine. It's Shelly show. So. That's right. We'll just put it in. It's going to be in there for a few minutes just so I need to melt my cheese. There you go. Melt Maybe, it a little bit more. What would you like? But, you know, I've got some that I already made. And so this is <laughs> one with that has roasted veggies. Okay, you have roasted veggies left over from the night before. Mm -hmm. Or make some roasted veggies Nate and do likes that. that one. Yeah, Nate. Nate okay. I'm going to have, every time I come, somebody I said the other day, Oh, I like the way you told that camera guy. Hands they off. Hands, hands off. off. Hands off till that. after the show. I love that. But you, I, you know, I really like the versatility of it because we're not doing just basic cheese. You can if you want. You can. But it's all about pulling out the leftovers. Yes. And utilizing all of that. Yes. So that you can have a whole different meal that the kids can get involved with. And 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 you said we were talking about the difference between the chalupa. Okay, so I have I don't have any of the shredded lettuce or the mm -hmm. tomato on top. Oh, but yeah. you can if you want. Sure. You know, play with it. You can do the crumbly cheese once you've melted everything. Everything and you want a little crumbly cheese, mm. you can add that on top too. Right, or you can just come and see me and here. we'll figure it out. Okay, so let me see. If oh, you... it's looking really good. It's almost ready. Is it almost it's ready? It's not totally melted, but look at that, you guys. Oh, oh that's oh. so beautiful. So Put it down slide. on my little plate. Ooh, it's nice and warm. Oh, oh. Shelly, that's a masterpiece. You're very good at this. Okay, <laughs> I give me a little uh, chalupa gal. 
Okay, it's and then I'm going to tell I mean, it's a thing, yes. So uh, then you do your salsa, and it's nice and warm and perfect for a day like today. Oh my gosh. Or you perfect. can come in and see us for tortilla soup. Oh, fabulous. Today is definitely fabulous. Caldo, Look at this. tortilla soup, menudo kind of day. Diana, you're the best. Guys, you can find the recipe on our website. Really, it's all about doing what you want today. Make it your way, or just head out to the restaurant because they'll cook for you at Los Barrios. <laughs> Open every day on Blanco Road. The phone number is there on your screen at 732 6017. You can also find Diana and her family out at La Hacienda de los Barrios on Redland Road. The website is lhdlb.com. Com or call the number on your screen. It's 497-8000. And we do have a gift card to give away this morning to the fourth caller at 470-5444.